Hey guys, this is uh, my 1996 Ford E350 Club Wagon, and I thought I'd just make a quick video to show you guys how to access the rear of the engine. This large hump right here is called the doghouse, and it can be removed so you can work on the engine a lot easier. So pretty much all of these vans come with a center console thing that has like cup holders and storage, and it just slides into these little tracks right here, and it locks in at the bottom. This is a 96, so this one's a little bit different than the newer ones, um, but it's kind of similar. Mine is obviously missing, but to remove it, there's just a little catch down here that you pull out, and it just slides out. Also, another thing I'll mention is I believe these are different sizes depending on the engine. Uh, this has a 7.5 or the big block 460, so um, it's definitely a lot bigger. It takes up quite a bit of room. It also makes it a little bit tighter to remove. Also make sure uh, all your stuff is out of these little compartments um, or else they'll kind of fall out somewhere possibly down in the engine bay when you remove this thing and you don't want that to happen. First thing you want to do is move the seats back. The driver one on this van is power and it doesn't go as far back as you would think. Really tall people might actually have trouble driving this van. The passenger seat on this one is manual, so there's a little lever, and it slides all the way back. Next, I'll go ahead and release the side latches, and one thing you want to note is what position it's in. As you can see, there's two positions, and it's in the first one. We'll just release that, and it unhooks. And we'll do the same for the driver's side. For the bottom ones, you just pull back right here and it turns counterclockwise and you may have to go back just a little bit there we go it was kind of too far down do the same for the other side if you go all the way it kind of gets caught on the bottom just about right there it comes right out now we're ready to actually remove this thing and it's it's a little bit tricky kind of pulls up a little bit it wants to get caught on the carpet somewhat make sure it's not still hooked in yeah it's getting caught in the carpet right there there we go and it kind of just slides out might not be a bad idea to remove the cup holder but not completely necessary pretty much out now we just gotta take it out of the car and this is a little tricky um, if you care about your seat you may want to cover it with something just in case another thing to keep in mind is that there's these uh, metal tabs they're a little sharp and easy to scratch stuff up so just uh, keep that in mind so you don't scratch up all your plastic you kind of just rotate it over this way scraping on the seat there a little bit and we are out again be careful not to scratch anything not like this man's in really good shape as it is and then just set this aside somewhere I'm just gonna stick it in the back of the van on this moving mat for now so yeah, th there you go. You got nice access to the engine back here. It's super handy. And the cool thing is, is you can get to the upper transmission bolts, which are usually the really hard ones to get when you remove a transmission. Um, and hopefully we can get all the spark plugs back here. I'm not 100% sure. You might have to go in through the side or the front. Also, the nice thing about this is you can do some mechanical work when the weather is not so good outside. I got a space heater. And also another tip, uh, if you don't want to get your carpet all dirty and disgusting, um, this one's already messed up and I'm getting some new carpet, you might want to put some like old towels and stuff um, down just to keep it from getting, you know, grease stained and stuff. And also you could probably get some really cheap seat covers if you care a lot about your seats. But yeah, um, I'm going to do some spark plugs on this thing. That'll be in a different video. And then we'll stick that guy back on.
All right, guys, got some work done on the engine, so let's go ahead and reinstall this thing. Again, be careful not to scrape those metal things on any plastic, if you can help it. And it kind of just slides right in here. It does touch that passenger seat a little bit. And then kind of line it up. And these metal tabs will kind of slide around the metal. And they'll stay in the engine bay area. And kind of just got to get the seal past the cup holder there. All right, and it just should slide into place. Make sure it's going in properly. It looks like we're a little too far this way. Do you kind of have to finagle it a little bit sometimes. Yeah, make sure the guy is on there. All right, got that one on. And it was just on those little first tabs. There we go. You shouldn't have to pull too hard. Until they grab onto the clip. And then turn them clockwise. And there we go. Pretty easy once you do it a couple times. And of course you can clean it before you put it back on if you want to. I already did. But anyways guys, I hope you found this video helpful. And I will be making a lot of videos on this fan. So be sure to subscribe if that's something you're interested in. But I will see you guys next time. Peace out.